adventure awaits. From 2005 to 2012, the Georgia Aquarium was the largest in the world until Singapore opened Marine Life Park. The aquarium opened up on November 23, 2005 and houses more than 100,000 animals from 500 different species. In total, the tanks that hold these animals contain more than 10 million gallons. Certain airlines allow you to bring a carry-on suitcase as well as a purse or backpack. Step 2. Think about where you're traveling to. If you're headed to the west coast during the summertime, you won't be needing that thick piece. And if you booked a trip to Germany in January, you might want to wear something more than shorts and a tank top. Be mindful of your destination and the weather you might encounter. Step 3. Prearrange your outfits and anything else you wish to take with you. Start big to fulfill your heart's desires, then go small and minimize your prearranged wardrobe. Hi, I'm Ariana Cervantes here for the UNG News, and we're here at Flyer Branch's annual chili cook-off competition, where I'll be interviewing some competitors as well as some taste testers. Well, I was influenced by my sister who's a student worker, and I love the idea of being able to get paid to do homework, basically, because I sit here and I make sure nobody starts a fight, and I turn the music on and off and do my homework. Um, well, it's convenient because I don't have to go off campus in order to make money, which is great. And uh, the way I do it is with federal work study, which is a, a great system. It's pretty much. Uh, I feel it is a holiday created by Hallmark to sell cards. Um, I like it. It's okay. <laughs> Um, Valentine's Day, in my opinion, since it falls on a weekday, you know, it's kind of stupid. The reason why I say this is because, you know, you never know if you're going to be with this person forever and it's just an excuse to go someplace and then sit at, you know, uh, sit on the benches for hours because you're not able to get a table. The more than 19,000 square foot warehouse is decorated with tall brick walls, high wooden ceilings, a large copper front door, and windows covering the entire side of the building. The tap room houses 30 pair of rooms and a taste room large enough to hold up to bring in. The building was developed by Johnson & Johnson in 1927 as a textile mill. The building later stored their administrative facilities as the mill expanded. The mill and the surrounding buildings were registered in the National Register of Historic Places. The building, at the time, was innovative contextually with the giant windows and lighting. All of these things helped the building into historic preservation. So one of the things Lefnet Brewing Company tried to do is keep the building within its natural identity. Hello, and thank you for joining us at the Vanguard News. I'm Jordan Tellis, and this is what's happening around campus. For students of the University of North Georgia, the North Georgia Mountains are a hidden gem containing both raw beauty and pure, wholesome fun. Hello, and welcome to Vanguard News. My name is Marcus Etienne. And my name is Jordan Tellis. Here's the news that we have lined up for you today. Recently, the Student Government Association for the University of North Georgia voted to alter class schedules to fall 2017. Classes will be scheduled on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays instead of just Mondays and Wednesdays. We asked a few students for their opinions on this change. Last Saturday, UNG men's and women's basketball team played Georgia College. I checked the games out to see how they went. 
Now we will go to our news correspondent, Ariana Cervantes, who talked to some students on the Gainesville campus about their role as a student worker and how they came to be student workers. Mainly because it was close jobs, classes, and easy to apply. I visited the Left Nut Brewery, located in Gainesville, near the UNG campus, to see how locals felt about the new brewery. Let's see what they had to say. <laughs> 